Some North Dakota Game and Fish Department biologists spent a lot of time in the air this winter conducting the state's aerial white-tailed deer survey. We get to our monitoring block and we, we fly out the area and we uh, GPS in each location that we, we see a deer and count the number of deer and record it and move on to the next group. Biologists need a lot of snow on the ground as a white backdrop makes it easier to see and count deer from the air. To really uh, be able to conduct a survey of this type we need uh, total ground coverage of about uh, 12 inches and we need multiple uh, snowstorms to fill in uh, cattail marshes and tree rows so that uh, we can really uh, see the deer from the air. Jensen says the last time there was enough snow to survey the entire state was 2011. On average we're able to do uh, north of Highway 2 80 percent of the time and then between the interstate and Highway 2 about 50 percent of the time and then south of the interstate about 20 to 30 percent of the time. Data from aerial surveys help biologists get a better handle on deer populations. We use this data for setting uh, license numbers for the, the uh, deer gun season uh, this fall. It's, it's really the gold standard for all of our other population indices to compare to. And in years where there's not enough snow, biologists rely on other information for population estimates. In a year that we don't have uh, good aerial survey data, then we're relying upon the other population indices we have, the uh, hunter observation forms, our harvest rates, uh, input from field staff, and uh, depredation complaints that we uh, get from the public. Jensen says whitetail numbers were stable in some units and up or down in other units compared to the last time the surveys were flown. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.